Okay, this is uh, before on question 6, right? Okay, so for this question, uh, you are given the graph of y equals to fx where a and b are real, b is uh, greater than or equal to 2, right? And then uh, a is between 0 and 1. The coordinates of minimum point are negative a0, is over here, okay? As well as uh, 2 plus a6 respectively. Then you have the equation of the asymptotes, to be y equals to x plus b. And x equals to 2a. So on a separate diagram, we need to sketch the graphs of the following function. Okay, the first one we need to we need to sketch is uh, y equals to 2 uh, f2x minus 1 uh, plus 1. This question generally um, uh, half half. Okay, so about half a cohort was able to get uh, 3 marks. Most of you got about 2 because you uh, either got the asymptotes wrong or the intercepts wrong or the shape of the graph wrong. Uh, most of you will actually got the uh, asymptotes wrong. Okay, and some actually got the shirt, the graph wrong. Okay, uh, how will it look like? Okay, so if you look at the... Okay, so most of you actually, uh, actually do, uh, you spend about one page, uh, maybe doing the translation from the point to point. Okay, so you were able to get the, so questions correct. Alright, so what you do is you take the, maybe FX, you recognize that there are some key features if you are looking at uh, the graph of maybe FX. Alright. So I'm looking at the fx here. Alright, this is equals to okay. Then if I'm gonna change it, maybe I'm gonna first change it to f of uh, x minus one. Okay, some of you did the conversion wrongly. Quite a couple of you were uh, still are uh, unsure about how to do use the replacement of variable method. Okay, then from here I'll replace uh, x with x minus one. Okay, so I'll replace x with x minus 1. Then I'll replace x with 2x. So I'll replace uh, x with 2x. i replace x with uh, 2x. Alright. So you can see that x minus 1 becomes uh, 2x minus 1. Alright. Then after that, uh, next one I'll do is uh, just basically add a 1. I'll replace uh, maybe this is so called uh, replacing uh, y with y minus 1. Replace y with uh, y minus 1. Okay, so with that, we actually got uh, f of uh, 2x minus 1 plus 1. Okay, how does this affect all the key features? Okay, so the turning point, okay, for example, originally, you look at just the turning points. Alright, if you look at the turning points, the turning point originally was uh, 3 plus a. Well, the turning point originally was uh, 3 plus a, correct? Uh, comma 6. Alright, and then it's a uh, negative a plus one. Okay, it was sorry, it was originally uh, mm. Mm. okay, it was. Uh, 3, 2 plus a comma 6 okay and it was a uh, negative a comma 0 all right then the asymptotes all right the asymptotes originally was uh, y equals to x plus b as well as uh, x equals to 2a okay so this is uh, from fx all right so after we convert to fx minus 1 Alright, after you convert to fx minus 1, basically what we do is uh, we are replacing x with x minus 1, am I right? So if we replace x with x minus 1, basically what will happen is all the x coordinates will take a so-called plus 1. Alright, all x coordinates will plus 1. Alright, so you will take a one unit translation in the positive x direction. Alright, so what will happen? Okay, 2 plus a will now become 3 plus a. Am I right? So it will affect all the x coordinates. Negative a will become negative a plus one. The y coordinate remains unchanged. Okay, y equals to x. Uh, what happened? Your x become x minus one, right? Because you are replacing x. You are replacing x with x minus one. Okay, and then minus b. All right, x equals to two a will now become x minus one equals to two a. All right, it will become uh, this will become x minus one equals to two a. All right. Otherwise, it will also mean that we have x plus 1, x equals to 2a plus 1, sorry, x equals to 2a 
plus 1 all right and next one we do is we replace x with 2x all right then from here we replace x with 2x replacing x with 2x now this just means that now uh, basically is that you take all your x coordinates now you divide by 2 right so yeah so replacing x with 2x so x 3 plus a now becomes 3 plus a over 2 comma 6 the y coordinates didn't change huh negative a will become negative a plus 1 over 2 0 will become 0 all right y equals to x minus 1 so remember we are replacing x with 2x all right so it will become y equals to 2x minus 1 minus b x minus 1 x equals to 2a plus 1 will become remember we are doing x 2x now replacing x with 2x equals to 2a plus 1 it becomes x equals to 2a plus 1 over 2 all right so last but not least replacing y with y minus 1 because we are doing uh, f2x minus 1 plus 1 so this gives us a uh, 3 plus a over 2 the x coordinate is not affected 6 will become 7 uh, negative a plus 1 over 2 0 will become 1 okay y equals to 2x minus 1 so remember y now is replaced with y minus 1 so basically uh, we are taking we shift the 1 over it is minus b plus 1 all right cancelling off the minus 1 and plus 1 we just have uh, the asymptote to be y equals to 2x plus b and for the x asymptote the other particular asymptote x equals to 2a plus 1 over 2 uh, it is not affected at all all right so looking at your final graph uh, this should be your this should be your uh, final features of your graph okay so using all this in mind the outcome of the answer you actually obtain go back to the question right so basically if we we go back to the question all right for it not to cut y equals mx so you can see it's quite easy right? basically you know that if my line is here right okay my line is here right all right okay this itself will be m equals to one all right so if i were to go so called go in this direction all right that means actually my m is actually decreasing i'm going towards a flatter gradient uh basically let's say if i go towards this direction this will be like m equals to zero if i go down here i mean this direction again it's like m uh negative so i'm actually pivoting like uh, pivoting about this point i'm actually pivoting about this point negative okay so the true answer is uh, a lot of you actually you know that you are able to get the answer uh to get m uh, is less than one okay but you miss out the fact that m could be equals to one okay so i still got it wrong because the correct answer is actually m less than equals to one for part three okay so the correct answer for part three is m less than equals to one most of you just got m less than one you didn't include the equality okay can so this is for question six Okay, you actually obtain this to be your final graph okay so you need to take note that because okay this is from the earlier one where after we do all the transformation you will get three marks where are the three marks three marks first mark is for asymptotic behavior and the shape of the curve so the shape of the curve is must to be correct so a, a couple of uh probably a couple of uh you may, be, may have uh, gotten drew the graph this way maybe you draw the one minus a over two on this side you draw the graph on this side okay but you must remember that because a right is between 0 and 1 so 1 minus a over 2 is actually positive it's actually positive so that's why the uh, i for a lot of you actually i told you that the turning point the turning point uh, must be on the right hand side of the y-axis and then and then i minus one mark for because the shape is wrong okay so if you take a look the shape of the curve has to be correct okay a couple of you also got this part wrong the asymptote source you minus one mark because of the asymptote all right so do take note this is how the graph will look like there are total of three marks uh, one mark must be for asymptote the correct asymptotes if you only got one of them correct so i cannot give you the mark uh, one mark is for asymptotic behavior and one mark is for the turning points okay so if you are not sure how to get the turning points really just try to do it step by step all right okay if we uh, 
Next one is to sketch the graph of y equals to uh, 1 over fx. Okay, most of you are able to do this uh, question well. So I will not go into detail. Right, so most of you are able to get the, the question correctly. Okay, most of you are able to get the question correctly. Right? So you recognize that the asymptotes, the intercepts of uh, fx will give you the asymptotes of 1 over x. So you drew the uh, asymptotes here, right? Okay, a lot of you label x equals to negative a. Some of you actually go and label this, all right? And then straight away, I'll actually minus it, but I won't deduct mark for you, right? Some of you know that a maximum point will give you a minimum point. So you have 2 plus a, 1 over 6, all right? Uh, and uh, intercept here will give you the... Uh, a, a symptom of fx will give you an intercept So I'll just have you circle because you do not know if it's in the domain. That's fine, you still get the mark. Alright, and it goes towards y equals to x plus b. Alright, it was x plus b. Okay, so some of you actually thought that, uh, some of you actually think that from here, you were thinking of the f prime graph. So you actually, in the end, so you went up to, you went to draw a horizontal line of y equals to 1. Okay, this is for the f prime x graph. So if you do this right, actually it's wrong. Alright, so in fact, because of this question, uh, it should be going towards uh, the graph. fx should go this way. Alright, uh, 2 plus a. 1 over 6 and because this is going towards infinity you can see that fx is going towards infinity here all right that means 1 over fx should be going towards uh, 0 positive uh, 0 plus all right here you can see that uh, it's going from 0 to 19 infinity uh, 0 to 19 infinity so where should our graph be going that should still be going close to 0 close to 0 all right and here is going to 0 minus so it should go into a negative infinity. So this is how your graph should look like. Okay, I'm drawing in a very informal sense. I'll show you the proper answer later. Over this part, is a negative going towards from 0 to negative infinity. So it should be the other way around. The actual graph should be going from 0 minus to negative infinity. Alright, so without further ado, let me just show you the actual graph. Right, this is how the actual graph should look like. Okay, this is the actual graph of 1 over fx. So your uh, original intercept should become asymptote, asymptote and intercept. Okay, there's no other uh, way to go about this. You must get uh, to get the three marks. You must have the correct intercepts, number one. You must have the correct asymptotes, number two. And you must have the correct shape. So if you do not get either of which, you will actually lose some marks. Okay. Okay, next one is actually part three. Uh, okay. So part three is actually quite well done. Uh. Part three is actually quite well done. Okay, so you are supposed to prove that uh the first find the point of uh, P uh two A okay point the coordinates of point B. So most of you are able to get that the coordinate of point P is two uh, A two A plus B just by uh solving the intersection of the two asymptotes. Okay, after that, uh, again the question is very well done. You are asked to show that it lies on the equation. So what I basically do is you just sub the P right into the equation of uh, mx so basically uh if i give you the equation you just took y minus uh, y1 you see equation uh, x minus x1 equals to and this is what you use okay so then uh, most of you did this you use uh, point p the 2a plus b over uh, x minus the x coordinate of uh, p which is 2a equals to m and then you did this uh, y minus uh, 2a minus c equals to mx minus uh, 2ma and therefore y is equals to mx uh, plus b plus 2a minus 2ma right for m to be a real number and therefore you have showed that uh, p lies on the equation y equals to mx plus b plus 2a minus 2m so if you use another way as long as you manage to show that it satisfies the equation of the line uh, you get the one mark like, huh? So over here, you actually get the one mark here. And by finding the coordinates of P, you get another uh, B1, all right? And from the graph, okay, we want to show that, uh, uh, we want to find the range of values for the M not to cut Y equals to FX.